Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look at Deinonychus, which is my personal favourite dinosaur. Deinonychus, or Terrible Claw, was a highly specialised dinosaur which utilised swift movement and savage attacks upon its prey. Deinonychus would use its terrible claw to slash at prey with one foot while standing on the other. Deinonychus measured around 5 to 7 feet tall and was about 12 foot long, with a weight of 75 to 100 kilograms. Deinonychus lived during the Cretaceous period and would share its environment with famous dinosaurs such as Iguanodon, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Geological evidence suggests that Deinonychus favoured a floodplains or swamp environment and would make its habitat within these areas. Wait a minute, they're not Deinonychus, they're Velociraptors from Jurassic Park 3. Well, you're half right, this is Jurassic Park 3. But all the footage you see throughout the Jurassic Park and during the movie Jurassic World is based off Deinonychus. The author of the Jurassic Park book, Michael Crichton, just asked the producers of Jurassic Park to change the name to Velociraptor, as it's a more catchy, shorter name and it appealed to a wider audience. On the next slide you're going to hear a short recording of what paleontologists roughly expected Deinonychus to sound like. Well, that was slightly terrifying, but on another note, Deinonychus was first discovered in 1931 within a fossil formation near the town of Billings. The paleontologist who uncovered the fossils had little interest in the find and chose to name the species as Dapatosaurus agilis, before forgetting about the specimen almost entirely. It was not named Deinonychus until paleontologist John Ostrom studied the find much later and chose to name it Deinonychus. It's estimated that Deinonychus had a maximum bite force of around 15%, which is roughly the equivalent of the modern day American alligator, so you can imagine that is quite a powerful bite force. A terrible claw, which Deinonychus is named after, was more likely used for holding and pinning down its victims rather than slashing at them directly and possibly disemboweling them. It's also been suggested that Deinonychus hunted in packs, as an individual Deinonychus could not bring down large prey such as Tenontosaurus or possibly Iguanodons. Here is quite a nice image of a Deinonychus pack hunting possibly an Iguanodon or Tenontosaurus. You see plenty of different images of Deinonychus, some with feathers and some without feathers. It is more likely that Deinonychus in fact actually possessed feathers as there are many similarities between modern bird species and this dinosaur. Thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to comment, like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day or afternoon or possibly evening wherever you are. Goodbye for now.